Ooh, Jason is going to show you how to create a hook, a music hook. We want to create a new one? Let's say you don't. Okay, let's find another song. Uh, here, I wish you were here. Let's do that one. Um... <sighs> Let's just use that. Let's say that was our hook. Let's mark it by and dragging you're, the you're mouse. Ju you're just dragging just it over. Okay. Click and drag. So it's marked red. Whoops. You can do a little fine tuning by moving the edges. Okay. If we hit use mark and we play it back. All right. I don't know if that's a good hook, but I'm not. I'm not the expert on it. Good for so the, let's, let's use that. It's good for the demo. All purposes. right. So you like that hook? Click set hooks. Now it's been set, and save. So now, see, so we can't see it now, but let's. If you wanted to, you can see this view hooks button is lit up. If you now, click it, it'll jump right to the hook. Now you don't have to give it any kind of name because it's basically building sort of a subdirectory under that song. That's correct? right. It's just setting an in a point and an out point on the song. Okay, good. Okay, this part is done. So now we go over to our hooks editor. Where do you find that hooks editor? Well, let's. If you uh, had your screen set up like this, you would click on the button that said hooks editor. And let's make a new hooks log. Clear all entries to make a blank one. Or you can just load up an existing one and, and change the song in the middle. Uh, once you've got your playlist set up, you can just keep changing the song in the middle. So let's do a new one. Audio library select. Uh, we don't have any pre-produced pieces yet, so I'm going to grab some splitters. Yeah, so the wraparound pieces. Two-minute that, splitter. The let's Gary put that in the first cut. You'll have the numbers for that, and so you'll yep. search it by whatever number and source. Second cut, audio library select. Go into your music and find your cut uh, that uh, I wish you were here was 603L there it is wish you were here and then your your extra cut so uh, let's find that one uh, whoops there they are let's go with a just a uh, classic rock sweeper Okay, so there's no uh, aux mark set here yet. It's just a playlist, so if we play it back. In two minutes. So you get a lot of silence. That doesn't sound very good. So you can see it goes to the same endpoint that we set over there. So that doesn't sound very good. So we can tighten that up now. So if we start at the beginning, you hit start, and then when you want the next event to fire, hit the set a EOM, which will set a temporary aux mark for that cut. There's more cue in two minutes. We hit it, goes to the next one. And you want a little overlap when you want the last one. Let's say right here. And the aux marks are set now. And you can see them marked with the little red lines. And you can you can tweak them a little by dragging the lines. Uh, so if you want to hear the whole thing together now, hit audition. Oh, no, sorry. Click your first one, hit audition. You in two minutes. What do you think? Great. Is that good? Okay, we're going to save that. Right. And we're going to give it a name. You give it to whatever name you want. So this is Joanne. Yes, yeah, this is Joanne Wilder's Joanne show. Joanne Wilder, uh, hour one. Right. Click OK. OK, so now it's saved. You're done with the hooks editor. You have two ways to put this thing on the air. If you... So on your left screen where you have the show log, if you click hooks player and load hooks, there's the one you just created. Highlight, hit load, and there it is. So you can do this two different ways. You can play it off Media Touch Channel 4. Uh, we don't have a remote start for that. Uh, so you'd have to click the start button. So let's say you had a spot. Building more solar, wind, and hydroelectric is part of And that was the right time. Plan. You would start your hook.
So for the purposes of uh, the and splitter, then you can fire next event. So what what this will the way we're going to use this is that um, um, the announcers are going to actually hit this off of uh, off of a talk break, so they're off of yeah. a sweep rather. So the song's just going to be fading out, and then you hit it manually from. So you the, can uh, hit it manually there, or your other option is insert it right into your log. Beautiful. So if you had it running, right in, if you've got it all set up the way you like it, and you wanted it in front of, let's say. Uh, let, let's just put it in front of Red Rider here. You click so it's highlighted, and click Insert to Log. Beautiful. Well, you put it before a commercial. Oh, I but, put it. Yeah. I've actually put it after, but um, you can see it, it took the ID, the Floyd cut, and the sweeper, and inserted all three events. It'll have it'll have the in and out points that you set, so that when you let this thing go, and, and you could let this thing roll on auto through a break if you wanted. No, hit it tight. Yeah. <laughs> Hit it manually, it's tighter. Okay. So this song, then when this song ran out, here, we'll stick a spot in here. So when this song ran out. There's more Q in two minutes. Very cool. Awesome. It's that easy. That easy. 